The shootings and the gunman's Illinois connections are having a ripple effect here in the Chicago area. CBS News Dana Kozlov in the control room to explain that part of the story. Dana. Robin, Erica, another day more bad news and some people call it exhausting. Many people trying to live ordinary lives say they can't help but feel impacted by the current climate in this country. These are the gunshots that pierced America's psyche again, this time fired by a lone gunman at Republican members of Congress. I'm like, oh my God, like what's going to happen next? I looked at it and I was like, come on, again? At gathering spots across Chicago, reaction is similar. You know, we definitely are in a different climate now, and things have only become more and more polarized in the last 10 years. It's just this new level of tension that you feel everywhere. Does it affect your daily life? But it does in a way. No, it figures into the calculus of, of what we do. Tension is a word used a lot, an undercurrent many believe is undermining society. Divisions amongst our own people and the hatred has never been so pronounced and I'm sad that it's resulted in more and more violence. Do you feel it's worse than it's ever been? 100%, 100%. That's not a, not a good place for the country to be in. We definitely need to, need to kind of come back to the come back to the middle and all start getting along and moving forward. So what's the answer? How can we all start getting along again? Well, I mean, that's, I, I don't have an answer, but I mean, we can start by understanding each other. That's the start. I think at their core, we all have very similar values. And I think what would be great for this country is if we could stop talking about these things that really are polarizing and talk about the things that matter. And tonight, in Washington at least, there is some talk of moving in that direction. Live in the control room, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. All right. Thank you, Dana.